Uh, I'm Chris and I'm from Canberra in Australia. I'm Caroline and I'm also from Canberra, Australia. When did you arrive in Tokyo? Um, about two days ago. We went to Osaka and Kyoto before this. Uh, last night, what did we have last night? We had uh, the tempura. Yeah. Nice tempura place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lots of good, lots of good soba. All right, let's go for another good adventure. So you said uh, this is your third time. Yeah, yeah, my mum lived in Japan when she was, she studied in Japan for a while, so she speaks fluent Japanese and so we came here a lot when I was um, for visits and stuff. How about you? Um, I was just told about how great it was by this one, yeah. which has been here twice, yeah. so I thought oh, I'd better come. Yeah. So how did you like it so far? Like you went to Osaka and Kyoto yeah. before yes. you came to Tokyo? I really like Kyoto. It's, uh, yeah, it was very traditional, which I also like. So we went to a tea ceremony. Yeah, yeah, we went to a tea ceremony in Kyoto. A ceremony. In Kyoto. Yeah, oh, that okay. was pretty cool. Did you try sushi? Because we are. We've tried sushi trains. Oh, sushi <laughs> trains. <laughs> I don't. We haven't had a proper sit down sushi meal. Uh -huh. um, I don't know what the difference between sushi trains and other sushi is, but I assume it's a bit. Yeah. But this actually <laughs> restaurant is very pretty casual. Uh huh. So the price is almost the same as like the train. Like sushi? I've yeah. seen a few sushi places where it's like very expensive. So expensive. Like, I want to try it, but like <laughs> I like having money. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe you will come back the year when you work for a year. Yeah, yeah. After, after we're no longer uni students. Um, <laughs> so you just graduated from university. Yeah, yes. yeah. And so. this is like a break. Yeah. Yes. So do you already get a job? Yeah. Um, so I'm starting a job as a graduate lawyer um, in a few weeks, and Chris is a mathematician. Uh, mathematician, so I, um, I'm still at the uni and then I'm going to look at doing a PhD in mathematics. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah she's wow. very clever. <laughs> so right now, what temperature it is in Australia? Uh, like about... High 30s Celsius. Oh, 30 uh, Yeah, sometimes 40s, which is uh, not good. It, yeah, there's something called a peanut cookie. So there's a recipe for a type of peanut cookie mm -hmm. and the way you make it is you make the batter and then you just put it outside and it cooks <laughs> in the 50 degree heat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, naturally you lost it. It's so bad, like I saw the news Yeah. That the, the fire destroyed. Yeah, it's destroyed an area much bigger than Sydney now and Sydney is a huge city. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Three yeah. or four times the size of Hawaii. It's destroyed. Yeah, yeah, they've been, yeah. It's gotten a bit better, oh. but normally our fire season is January, February. Hopefully it doesn't turn again, but yeah. we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the big thing in Canberra though is that we have this thick smoke. Uh, on really bad days, you wouldn't be able to see about 20, 30 meters in front of you outside because yeah. the smoke is that thick. The we fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The all the smoke comes and settles in Canberra because Canberra's a bit of a valley. I see. So it's really And bad. then it doesn't disperse very easily. You, you can smell? Like yeah, smoke. Yeah, you, oh, you can smell it. You pretty much, you have Actually, to wear no, masks. You, you can't smell it because it's everywhere and you adapt to it. Well, yeah. This is squid, shrimp, mm -hmm. and it's uh, sea beans, like a uh, red snapper. Tuna, kura, it's like a uh, salmon eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a fatty tuna. Right. It's a squid. Yeah. So a little bit maybe chewy. So when are you supposed to have the miso soup? Have you have that before or after? Um, you can eat it during the meal. Okay. Yep. I don't know if that works. Yeah, it's nice. It's alright, a little bit chewy, but I can really take it with the chavi, which is nice. <laughs> Some special sauce, uh -huh. so you don't have to put the soy sauce. This one is the scariest movie. Mmm, <laughs> right. It's kind of sweet. Okay. Hmm. Does it taste like anything you know? No. <laughs> no. in you. It's kind of sweet, but kind of savory. It's quite good though. It's a bit soft. Softer than most sushi I'm used to. Uh, because we only have very um sort of standard sushi. Yeah, what, what are these? Is it's it a the salmon eggs with okay. kind of soaked in uh, soy sauce. Yep. They're very pretty. <laughs> Most common. It's nice of the warm ones back there. <laughs> but it's familiar. I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. It's 
a lot softer than the previous one. Oh, the squid last. Hmm. I like the sweetness with the wasabi on this one. It has a very nice texture that I'm not used to. Yeah, it's good. It's like it's sweet. It was sweet, and then it switched to hot because of the wasabi. I just like the textures. Like yeah, the, no, I really like how the the textures play off each other. Yeah. Eggs are generally a little bit sweeter. Like there's a bit of sweetness on oh, this egg. Yeah. Thai. It's a uh, red stumper. Okay. White fish. Okay. I don't know what that is, but let's do it. <laughs> I like that one a lot. It doesn't have a lot of um, flavor to the fish. Mm. Um, yeah, white fish doesn't really have much flavors. Mm. It's very soft. Yes. Mm. It is very soft. Mm, yeah, I like that one a lot. I think that's my favorite so far. Right. <laughs> it's very boring. <laughs> it's got a lot of it's got a lot of flavor to it. Yeah. I like it. The one you ate mm -hmm. is like uh, fatty. This mm -hmm. one is no fat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like this one too. <laughs> I like that I enjoy the most basic ones the most, but... <laughs> and no soy sauce, it has a sauce already. Yes. Mmm. Yeah. That is really soft. It just sort of falls apart. Mm. Mm. You don't have to put the sauce. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's try. Mm. I quite like that. Mm -hmm. It is salty, but it's um, yeah, it's a good balance. Mm -hmm. I think the rice kind of cancels out the saltiness a bit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but that chopsticks. Not so much foreigners mm -hmm. can pick up the mm -hmm. <laughs> small eggs. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of been trial by fire here. You <laughs> just have to learn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's really soft. I think that was one of my favorites. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So Canberra is the capital of the Australia, right? Yes, nobody knows it, but yes. <laughs> if I go there, what kind of stuff I have to see for sightseeing? Like, I think there are many uh, historical places yes, or yes. government offices and so on. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, we have a lot of art galleries, which are really good. So um, we have the National Gallery and the National Museum of Australia. Um, so if you like art and history, it's a great place to go. Yeah, right. There's also um, Questacon. Questacon. Quest it's a uh, it's scientific a centre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's a good place. They have a giant slide that you can go down. Theoretically, it is called Learning About Science, but um, yep. it's <laughs> more of just a fun place to go. Um, there's also there's Lonsdale Street if you like coffee. Can Canberra loves coffee. Oh, really so many cafes. Oh yeah, area. yeah. Um, Australians are coffee snobs in general, but Canberra especially is very into you know home ho home roasted handmade coffee. And, wow. Um, so you guys are kind of addicted to caffeine. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how many how many times do you drink a coffee in a day? Um, I have one probably once every couple oh. of days, uh, but I, I sort of purposely avoid it because oh, yeah, right. you, um, too much caffeine is not good for your health. Yeah, yeah I, I try not to have a lot of coffee. My right. mum probably has eight cups a day. Eight cups of a day. <laughs> yes, which, <laughs> she's a lawyer as well, so that's where that came from. <laughs> I'm guessing my favourite one to last. So this is the tuna, right? <laughs> It has a little bit more flavor than the fatty version. I like that. 
And that's more wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't hate it. Mm, that's really good. I like that a lot. It's like just sweet enough. Mm. Also, deep, deep fried anything is amazing. Obviously. I don't know. Tempura feels a lot different to the sort of other, like just oh, yeah. usual style Japanese food. Whereas, was it traditionally here or did it? Yeah, it was traditionally here, but I heard it comes from Portuguese or something. Oh, okay. Actually, it's a shrimp. Fried shrimp. In the sauce? Yes, dip in the sauce. <laughs> Good luck eating. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting strategy. It works. Mm. That's really nice. I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> Sweet potatoes. Mm, I really like that. Probably because it's thin and it just feels like I'm eating mm -hmm. chips, but really good chips. Yeah. <laughs> Try one of the vegetable ones. No, it's just a little bit. No. What kind of vegetable is it? Cheese. Cheese. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Is it capsicum? Green peppers? Oh! No. Yeah, <laughs> small green peppers. Yeah. Do you say capsicum here at all? Uh, I don't know. What uh, that is. Uh, it's an Australian word for pepper. We, we don't call them peppers, we call them capsicums. Mm. Mm. I like that a lot. I do like here yeah, that I've seen advertised a lot, you know, like Australian Wagyu beef. <laughs> we import a lot of beef from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we eat a lot of kangaroo as well. Yes, yes. Yeah. Probably a bit weird that we eat our national animal. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> That's really interesting. Mm. That's like because eggplants are so soft, and then it's been deep fried. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot going on. Mm. Very it's soft. Weird. It's weird, right? Mm. I like it. Still got the nice crispy bits on the outside, but very like soft, almost Inside like a, yeah. yeah, yeah. But they're plant. You still have like a five or six days to stay yeah. in Tokyo. Um, well, we want to go to Harajuku because I find the fashion there really fun to look at. Yeah. It's very intense. We might do a day trip to Mount Fuji and the hot springs around there. Oh, um, great. So yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, I like Tokyo because you just never run out of stuff to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cities. You just, a lot of cities after about four or five days, you're kind of just like, yeah, I've done all the tourist things, I can, I'm ready to go now. But in Tokyo, there's just always something else to look at. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to do like something special in Tokyo? Um, what do you expect? So I'm, I'm meeting up with a friend who's doing his master's here oh. tomorrow. So um, he, he did a university with me in Canberra and then he moved here yeah. at uh, University of Tokyo. University of Tokyo? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the maid cafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of wanted to go in because they had really cute looking lattes with like little animals made out of latte right. milk broth. Oh, and like, uh, there are many cafes, like cat cafes, dog cafes, yeah, yeah. also hedgehog cafes. Hedgehog cafes? Hedgehog. Yeah, in Harajuku, there's oh, a hedgehog cafe. Okay. It's very really cute, like. Oh, no, you can touch actually. Oh my goodness, that's very exciting. But it's very cloudy as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, it was very nice, very um, different to the sort of Japanese food that you see in Australia. So it was good to... Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think my favourite was the tuna. So apparently I'm just really boring. But it was really nice to try the exciting ones too. Um, I liked the... What was the one with all the eggs, start, the eggs on it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. I really liked that one as well. That was probably the most interesting I had. Um, but yeah, it was good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.